Black Ops 6 is out now. What are your what are your thoughts? Um, great game. So far, it's a ton of fun. The movement I freaking love. The gunplay and everything feels amazing. The only downside is the maps, man. I'm not gonna lie. And I know a lot of people are like, bro, people complain about everything. I'm like, dude. I feel like, cause again, I'm just trying to get, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest multiplayer guy ever, but yeah. like, I'm just trying to get all these guns ranked up for Warzone and just have fun on multiplayer. And I feel like some of the maps are just so freaking big. And I'll, wait, pause. And it's like, it's like, I'm trying to get actually like, all these guns raked up and I'm playing maps yeah. and I'm swimming, diving, jumping in water. I'm like, what is this man? What am I playing? So that's the only downside, but the gunplay, the movement feels great. So you're saying we're back. I'm saying, well, ah, that's crazy. I'm gonna <laughs> I haven't played Warzone yet. So yeah, far, yeah. the movement, the gunplay, we're back, but Warzone, I don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> I said that on purpose. I do want to talk a little bit about yeah. uh, when you did say Warzone's back from Iron Warfare 2. I think you got hoodwinked a little bit, a little bamboozled. Oh, we got finessed, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you, can't, you got a lot of hate for that. And honestly, when it first started happening, um, I just thought people were trolling, like, you know, like, let's, let's fake roast Joe, you know what I mean? Like, not, oh, not, yeah. not deep. But then you came out with an apology video, and I was like, okay, I think maybe this is deep. But then I didn't know if that was a troll on the trolls or the trolls, you know what the I mean? The trolls and the trolls. So, I don't no. know. You tell me. How how sincere was that apology video? What was that like? I mean, what was happening? Dude, it, oh, it was very sincere. I thought people at first were trolling, too, until I was getting, like, and, and again, the the cons of being a content creator is like, bro, the DMs you get are insane. But I was getting like death threats in my DMs over Warzone 2. But like, and again, I can tell I've heard every name in the book. I've heard it all to me. But I was getting like people send like my mom's full name, my twin sister's full name. Like that stuff is like, okay, that's that's different. Like, bro, roast me, flame me. But family is just that that that's where in my opinion cross it crosses the the whole line. Oh, yeah. And it's like it's like we we all got told like like a whole thing of like for then Warzone Two was was like the the worst game. But even now I'm like, bro, how that was like the worst year for COD <laughs> yeah. and Warzone ever. But it's like we got told all these things that 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 slide camps is gonna be back, diving's gonna be insane, you know, played and run. Oh, we're like, oh, Warzone's back, baby, we're back. Yeah. And then it's like, oh well. Here's the update, by the way, which I, now I know. Now I'm very careful about that. I'm like, no, I'm playing it first. Everybody's like, yo, bro, Warzone's going to be dope, right? I'm like, I don't know yet. I haven't played, so I don't know. But it's yeah. like, seeing it then, it's like, dude, we got bamboozled, bro. And until we played it, we're like, oh, this is not good. And then obviously, a lot of people thought like, oh, it's Joe's fault. I'm like, bro, if I made the game, the game would be way different than it is now. Maybe for the better, maybe for the worse. I don't know. But yeah. I'm like, if, I, if, if it was my choice, it would not be like this. And they kind of shot themselves in the foot because like, I mean, Creators are a massive marketing arm for them, obviously. And so to like make them feel a little bit like they got bamboozled, now they have to be like careful and reserved, like that hurts them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they learned a little bit about that as well and, and uh, it's a little 100%. bit more clear going forward. Um and you you mentioned it, so let's go right into it. If you were on the COD development team for let's just do Warzone specifically, because that's what you play mostly. Um, you know, what would be the what would be the one thing that you would definitely do? And if there's more, we can talk about more too. But what would what would you be doing on that COD development team? Oh, baby, we could do a whole podcast, <laughs> just to be honest. But I'll go with two, all right? all right. The first one is making the big map play like big map. Now, an OG Verdansk days, right? We had Resurgence and we had Big Map, but mm -hmm. with Verdansk, we had a true BR. And I feel like now we've lost the touch of a true BR of where you can now land in, get Gulag tokens, get flares, there's bunkers, foresight. Like, I feel like we've lost that of like last team standing, last man standing. And it's more of like a Resurgence dumbed down on the Big Map now, mm -hmm. which I personally don't mind some games because I can load in to a game of whatever quads as a solo and fight over and over and over and over. I can land back in, buy a, a token, find a freaking redeploy and just keep coming back over and over. In Verdansk, you truly had to value your life on the big map, which mm -hmm. I think really made it nice. And now there's portable buys, a ton of stuff like that. And I hope that going forward, when Verdance comes back, which I do like flares and all that, but I hope they they kind of dial that back some where it still gives that like BR experience on the big map. And it's cool to hear you say that because you're not the only one. I think Huskers mentioned it when I interviewed them, and I think Brett even mentioned it. And you guys are more fast paced players. Um, Iron mentioned it as well, which makes more sense for 
his play yeah. style especially but it, it's interesting to hear guys that play fast and get a lot of kills say the same thing well it's like because we have a whole mode that is literally dedicated to playing fast and getting kills and yeah. that is resurgence so like if you and they're way shorter games so it's like you can get and 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 truly fight a lot of people in all of those modes but for the big map i miss how that felt of like you gotta value your life and yeah. then now i feel like it's a skill gap more for good players than bad players because most average players aren't going to be finding flares getting redeploys especially even winning their gulag so it's like right. they can't come back and just keep buying like like gulag kits and all that kind of stuff even like with with all the bunkers right mm -hmm. if you're win grinding you can grab a specialist and a foresight and just post up end game right. so for for the average player like if they're trying to get like one recon they're not going to get a ton of money from that to buy a teammate back or like all that kind of stuff and it's just like i just truly miss the og days of like you have two lives and that's kind of it and a couple buy stations and it's like the the last team standing wins you know what i'm saying yeah no i i totally agree i i, I do miss that and i think like now it is kind of like a glorified resurgence because you can come back in, in so many different ways um and yeah i agree i didn't really think about it but like casual players probably don't even like think to buy a gulag kit you know what i mean like but like a good player they're winning their gulag 98 percent of the time they're coming back they're buying a gulag kit and rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and then also because dude there's times where like a ton of my kills come from the gulag so <laughs> yeah. it's like i'm i'm fighting and then on top of that you can find 13k in the gulag sometimes <laughs> yeah so yeah, like yeah. i come back buy a gulag token and a loadout and then i'm back to rocket rolling which is just like it's just it's changed maybe and again there is some people that could love it but i just feel like it's just changed how warzone plays and then also for the casual player imagine how many people i i am ending their game because i have fought the gulag six times and they go <laughs> once and they're probably gonna lose it you know right. so it's just like i just truly miss the og days of like you have to value your one life and that's it yeah no i agree um i did a ton of research for this interview i watched like everything joe Wo, so i forget where i saw this exactly but i saw you mention something that i thought was really interesting how um you don't have that many irl friends in north carolina and i don't think it's specific to you that's why i found it interesting i think like it's a weird phenomenon with probably a lot of streamers where you have a lot of streamer and gamer friends online you have a mm -hmm. community that loves you but then you turn off the stream and they're gone basically i mean you can still text like your gamer friends and stuff like that but there's not, not like the there's no one in real life which is kind of crazy um has that changed for you or, or kind of where are you at with uh irl friends um i would say it has like for sure gotten like way better because thank you guys so much for watching this clip from mimosa brunch don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and if you want to watch the full interview just click right here